during the match. And Lawler is now saying, hey, I want him to take that, uh, that mask off. And maybe the gloves, too. Yeah. Yeah, I hear Jerry is uh, bringing the question up to referee Paul Neighbors, and I can't say I blame him. Well, you know, you have wrestlers that complain about stuff all the time, but uh, Lawler is, is totally legitimate in, in what he's complaining about right here. And as you mentioned, there's been talk of an investigation and to make... Hey, okay, well, that sounds like a plan to me. Yeah, the King says if he won't take it off voluntarily, we'll take it off for it. Here we go, the King against Tagar. And Lawler again uh, asking the referee to check those gloves again. Tagar wrestles with the complete uh, uh, para, if I like, I call it, if I call it paraphernalia, the complete outfit. He keeps that hood on, and that uh, the top part of that hood or the face part of that hood's like a face plate, almost yeah. uh, hard plastic. And uh, Lawler taking a, a shot, looks like from that glove right away. And those are. Uh, I'm sure those are reinforced gloves, so those have got to hurt when you get hit by them. Yeah, they're probably reinforced with lead weights in the knuckles, if uh, the truth be known. They tie it up now. The King moving in off uh, after Tagar backs him into the corner and throws the right Ooh. hand, and there you see the yeah. result of what happens yeah. when, you, when you hit that uh, that hood. That's a problem right there. Of course, I guess we got to keep in mind, too, that it's, it's not legal to hit people with a fist, but uh, still... Uh, Lawler certainly has a good point about that hard mask. That, uh, I'm not sure that should be allowed. Lock it up one more time. Lawler and Tagar. Now Lawler moving in. That's a little bit better. Uh, and now it looks like Lawler is going to live up to what he said and take it off right here and now working on that hood of Tagar. Tagar rolling out of the ring and down on the floor. Having to readjust it. Something else uh, to be brought up about this uh, mask that Tagar wears, you can't see his eyes. You can see a reflection as you see, yeah. sort of a green-blue reflection, but you can't see the man's eyes, and when you can't see a man's eyes in the ring, how do you wrestle it? That's very true. Very good point you make there. Yeah, you can't see any of his face, including the eyes. He is just totally blocked out by that mask. Lawler, again, approaching the situation with great caution. And uh, now Taker looks like he wants to lock up with Lawler with that gloved hand. Both men toe-to-toe -to -toe in the center of the ring. Let's see who gets the advantage of this one. Well, Taker's going to take advantage. He did the wrong thing to the King. King coming up with some kicks to the midsection. Looked like a punter there practicing for a second. You don't want to give Lawler an excuse to do that, and that's what Tagar did, and Lawler sees the advantage. And see what happens in a case like that. When the referee has just watched Tagar kick Lawler in the midsection, he's much more forgiving when Lawler retaliates. Right now, Lawler being uh, extremely cautious, trying to, to, to wrestle Tagar, and I don't know if you can really do that, Dave. I don't either. I, Lawler has is, uh, is got to be completely concerned. Well, not completely, but he's got to be very concerned with those gloves. Whoa, beautiful oh. move by the King. Shades of all with a touch of new from Jerry Lawler. What a kick. He came up uh, to the back of the head, and that's one place that Tagar is quite vulnerable. And Tagar hit the mat right away. Lawler, a little bit more confident now, has backed off into the corner. And Tagar using the glove to rake across the face. And now with a series of bolo punches to the back of the neck, has the king down on one knee. Now drapes him over that lower rope. And Tagar staying right with him, seizing the opportunity of weakness on the king. And going right after him as uh, the referee starting the count. And Tagar gouging and raking at the face of Lawler, now kicking and putting a knee into the mid to the back. Boy, Tagar going right after the king in the corner. Got that fist doubled up, that gloved fist. And he was nailing Lawler with it. Here's the king coming back. Blows to the chest in the midsection. He has to stay away from the face. Oh, look out. Strap is down. Here we go. Oh, Lawler told the referee to look at what was going on across the studio and then uh, gave it his own uh, Lawler uh, move. Shall we say he got him in the most vulnerable place on Tagar's body. And Lawler put into the turnbuckle. Tagar following through. Lawler out of the way. Goes in, rolls him up, has him down. One, two, three, that's it. That's the day. Uh oh here comes Embry. 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 back over as Lawler nailed him with a fist. Embry, Embry thought he was going to jump him. Lawler had just defeated Tagar. A tough match here on television today. 
Embry said, I'm going to catch him when he's celebrating that victory. And Lawler saw him coming. Embry went flying over the top rope. Lawler met him with that big right fist. Embry was just catapulted right back over the ropes, fell on the floor, and as soon as he could get on his feet, he was out of here. He went running out of here. He's gone. The king is gone, too. I tell you what.